Good Bunny. <laughs> good Bunny? She calls me Ava Good Bunny. And I am Trudy, the bad bunny. <laughs> You're the good bunny. I'm the bad bunny. And that's the truth. It is the truth. It is the truth. So, here we are in the Temple of Delphi, the funniest oracles in Delphi. The click and clack of the metaphysical world. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should take Collins. We've talked about that. Collins? Uh, on live on air? Sure. Yeah. They don't know when we're doing We don't know when we're doing I know. This. I'm, that's, yes. that's what click and clack. That's what that's they right. do. They so, do. They do. Yeah. I think one of them died. Oh my. Is that true? Google that, Edster. <laughs> <laughs> Ed's over there googling it. It's true. It is true. Yeah. Did was it click or was it clack? I don't know which was which, but no, it's one just of them. Clack. And those two brothers were of such one mind. Yeah. And so that would be a, an actual honor if people were to call us the click and clack oh, with the be, metaphysical it would be, world. It would be. They're very, they're wonderful people. Big compliment. Okay, world. so let's talk about Pisces because right. Ava's a Pisces, and I'm this Pisces. is the only reading she even cared. No, that's not true. I Here's care about, about the other two. <laughs> the other two, her rising and her moon. But this would be I'm her just like sign you. sign. She's a Pisces. I'm just like you. The most interesting subject is always the self. Yes. Always. So let me get it in there. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Know thyself. Know thyself. That's the yes. first thing you should have seen when you walked into the temple with and your small the, goat. The tarot is a, is a, probably one of the most um, beautiful means by which to get to know yourself. Mm -hmm. That's uh, true. Through ancient symbols and um, the exploration of your own psyche and your your uh, telepathic abilities hidden telepathic abilities which we right. all have yes. but women more particularly mm -hmm. that's women right are gifted. we all do so we are also here to teach you the tarot that is what Ava and I are focused on. So watch your moon, as we said, your rising and your sun sign. And then watch your boyfriend's sign. And then watch your mom's yes. sign. And then watch your mother-in-law's yeah. sign. Because the more signs you watch, the more you know. <laughs> you will learn, learn, learn. 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 Yes. So do that. Not only will you learn how to read the cards, but you'll learn a lot right. about the people around you. And, and then you'll be ready them. for our school Yeah. When, when we open it. That's right. And uh, maybe there are a lot of you who are... Um, secretly wanting to uh, use your uh, psychic talents um, that you know you have, mm -hmm. but that maybe you don't feel confident in as yet. So that's all about why we're different than on the other channels, and also because you see our whole bodies and not just our hands, like she we loves said that. last the month. Thing <laughs> on the Adams family. Yeah. It was the Adam side. Thing, yeah. Oh, the yeah. Disembodied arm. And then I like the, the, the furry head. Cousin, Cousin It. Cousin It. That was really funny. Oh, yeah. Yes. That was, was a funny. good show. Everybody has a Cousin It. Somebody walking around with their hair in their eyes. <laughs> it's right? true. Especially when they're in like, middle school. You know something about that's going to come up in the reading. So you're not wasting your time by listening to this right. chit chat back and forth. We're actually channeling I know stuff you, for you, you right now. Tell us. <laughs> Get to the reading. This would is you? the reading. This is it. All right. All right. So. Okay, so we got to do last month's recap. We're going to do right. last month's recap. Talking a little bit to you, Pisces, about what came up for you last month. Came up for her. For me. Came up for me because it's my moon. Mm hmm. And this is why we're starting a Kickstarter. This is it. <laughs> yes. And uh, because. The first card was the Knight of Pentacles. And we said, oh boy, yeah, the money's not moving fast enough. Yes, it's. Uh, uh, the slowest moving material, representing the material world. Mm -hmm. um, and then in the position of challenge, we have the star, mm -hmm. which, major arcana card, once again, you're having a little trouble here with inspiration. We said it was because money's moving too slow for us to find our place in the universe. Yes, we want to be uh, the star of the show. <laughs> and we are the stars of the and, show. And uh, yeah. you're finding that is the But challenge. we want to put you in our universe. Yes, right? we, you want to star. You want to, you want to be the focus, the, yeah. 
of the theater which you've created. Yeah. So. And then we have the Five of Swords in the position of the unexpected. Mm -hmm. Unexpectedly, um, you know, you find that you're sort of between a rock and a hard place because uh, if you win, you're going to do it at the expense of yourself or others. Okay? So next is the Five of Pentacles, which means that uh, you, you resign yourself to ask for help. Perfect. And which is what we're doing. We're asking we are you to join us. us. To ask for your help. Yeah. Because join I, us in our church. Not only because it would help us to have a school and to uh, grow right. the uh, concept, but it would help you to... Uh, which goes back to that star reverse. Right. It would help you uh, to initiate a profession mm -hmm. uh, with us within the confines of our uh, solar family, system. our family. Our solar system, it's the star. Yeah, our yeah. solar system. You find your place in the constellation, right? Right, right, so that's it. That's what that was all about. Mm -hmm. Now let's move on to this month's reading. Let's December. do it. December, Pisces, I can hardly wait. December so, 2016. Let's cut. The perfect day, the one day of the month where Ava and Trudy, the oracles of Delphi, read for you. Yes, we're the Solstice Sisters. That's our name. Yeah. Check out so, our winter solstice video from last year. Look at that. Crazy. It's just a cray cray kind of month. It's a crazy thing. We just finished doing Scorpio. Yes, another water sign. It's another your water sign. Water sister. And uh, they had this exact same card uh, in the exact same position. Ah, look at you. That's your rising. So and this is both your my rising and my sun sign are in agreement mm -hmm. about the necessity of establishing your independent authority and allowing a sort of a joyful vision to carry the moment and to believe in yourself and to express that confidence by letting your vision lead mm -hmm. the energetic uh, however that energy plays out. Mm -hmm. She's kind of like the converter, you know? She converts energy because she's a fire sign. Yes. So how do you convert? She's the alchemist. Yeah, one energy into another. Which she's is the transformer. The that would be it. it. Mm -hmm. So through her vision, transformation mm -hmm. takes place. Right. And so uh, the... So if you're starting with a lump of clay, she would be like the kiln, and out comes oh, that's beautiful. this beautiful piece yes. of sculpture, kind of. So, so you are the kiln. Mm -hmm. You are the uh, you're the heat. You're the the chemical element that allows for the formation of the thing, the object, the the situation, the the endeavor, the the career move, the all all that that um, piece of art could represent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. That's good. Okay, and then in the position of challenge, what do we have? We have the Six of Cups reversed. reversed. <laughs> and Six of Cups is a great card in the upright. I understand this. It's a very good card. Well, I'm going to finish up with the upright version of the card. Sure. Because I want to talk a little bit about it. Um, if you look at the card, you'll see there are two children in this card. And I love that because it speaks to um, relationships that have lasted for a while. Um, could be childhood relationships, uh, could be even siblings. Um, there's some kind of warm, fuzzy place that's represented by this card and you feel very secure in either of these relationships or sort of the energy of this card. There's some, you know, like, I'm gonna go home uh, to mom and sleep between the sheets that smell the same way they did when I was 12 years old. Um, or it's in reverse. Go ahead. All right. Um, 
you see, this always is in reference to something from the past. All right? So something from the past is, um, because it's reversed, actually causing a negative here. In other words, perhaps for you to be in the leadership position, you have to leave the past behind. Mm -hmm. That might be relationships, that might be ways of doing things, ways of collaborating, ways of, uh, of, Mm -hmm. No, I got you. you now I get you. you see yeah, it? because the, this relationship of the heart needs to be turned around. Right. You need to let go of how it was. It's almost a forgiveness kind of thing. I, I see it more or less as a... I see it positively because your challenge is to let it go. Mm -hmm. Your challenge is to release the past and not be... Stuck in the past. Not stuck there where you felt yeah. secure. Stuck in the past. That's stuck what in the it is. That's what it is. That's your challenge, not to get stuck in the not past. Not to get stuck in the in, past. In reverie, even. Even because it Fantasy. makes you feel secure. Revisiting the past. Oh, right, constantly going, this, great, this was good then, that, and yep. maybe that's how I should do it because that's what gave me that feeling of security before. Yeah, but it's actually not giving you a feeling of security. No, it's, it's so actually... why repeat it, right? So, it's in habit. other words, it would inhibit you. Mm-hmm. Let's It's going to hold you back in your career, it looks yeah. like. Ooh, okay. That makes sense, too. Okay, so in the third position, the position of the unexpected, we have death. In reverse. reverse. In the position of the unexpected. Wow. So this goes along with the card before, but this is a very uh, uh, consequence of it. Mm -hmm. Sort of the re uh, reverberation of it is um, you want very much for a definite ending, ending. to something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it needs to transform. It needs to You're transform. You're talking about that. Right, something needs a radical Transformation. Transformation. And mm -hmm. unexpectedly, it's hard to turn this thing around. In other words, it's hard to achieve that. Mm -hmm. To finish the to cycle. To finish the cycle. And let it go. Yes, to finish the previous cycle. Right. To get rid of the past, in other words. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. see, because the, both of these are about the past. Yep, yeah. yep, 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 yep. And if it, if it's like were, tripping over dead bodies, okay? Right. You're in <laughs> it's a like fish after three days. You don't days. want to be. It's like company after two days. <laughs> exactly. So maybe something is constantly pulling you to the past. And something is making it's something. You're resisting throwing it out. <laughs> it could even be a right. relative. <laughs> right. Something you know? clings. Yes. Keeps on clinging. And they need to go where it needs to or go. Or something needs to change. Something needs radical transformation. Yeah. And for some reason, it just is not the time. And you thought by now, because it's unexpected, you thought by now. You had changed this. You had this was changed done. things. It that was it was dead. done and let's move on, but not yet. It's not done yet. Yeah. Something's not done right. yet. Okay, so let's go. Oh my God! Interesting. Well, that really makes sense too. Okay, so we have the three of wands reversed. So it's sort of plans. Uh, I don't want to say reversed, but it is kind of plans reversed. Right. Plans so, disrupted, or revisited, or <laughs> uh, yeah, revised, or, or redone, or um, the launch mm -hmm. didn't. The launch doesn't there's launch. There's no return on the launch, or it doesn't launch. Or it doesn't launch. At all. Or there's a delay in the launch. The, yes. the delays are implied by uh, minor arcana more than even the halting of mm -hmm. it. Interesting. You see, the, the unexpected is like, this is an important situation, mm -hmm. basically, is what the cards are saying. It's like, this needs to end. Right, spirit. something needs to end in yeah. order right for away. something like, boom. For like, out of the blue. you to um, to turn these two around. To turn, yes, and I had, we had, we had the three of wands, remember? Yes, we did. And it was upright mm -hmm. in the unexpected? Uh, right, I, I think so. No, we didn't. Five, fives, two fives, that was the month before. Oh, that's right, that's yeah. right. So, 
It could be as simple as travel plans get delayed mm -hmm. or go awry. Mm -hmm. Something that you wanted to move forward with mm -hmm. needs more. See, it points back to could the even two. Mean you just decide not to go because of this situation, which is this, you know, childhood, like the past, you know, is a challenge for you. And because it's a challenge, you may decide not to go. Like, since it is holiday time. I mean, right. It could be that. Not, not to, to revisit the family. Mm -hmm. Or not to do that. Not to... Uh, right. Not to put any more energy Energy or effort, into the past into and trying to, to, to keep but those relationships. But in some way, they're still there because this death card's inverted. So in some way, you haven't really completely gotten there yet. Right. But you're making moves. So it seems to me that December... The overall energy of it is extremely positive, so it, because it um, shows your sense of authority and confidence in what you, what you, your vision. Mm -hmm. But at the end, something um, impedes the launch of a particular project, a particular um, endeavor, uh, an inspiration, a piece of art, uh, an idea. Uh, so you may have to wait, or you may have to see if it points back to the you two might have to of redo. wands. Yeah, you might have to re uh, kind the of. The two of wands is about choice. Well, you might have to replan, replan, revision, just go revisit. But but the, the two of wands plan. being the should I stay, should I go card. Right, right. So the decision to do something. Exactly. Um, you may have to go the, back to that. You may have to go back and reconsider, should I do this or should I not do this? Exactly. Yeah, right. That's right. Because there's this situation, this challenge position. But this seems to be the big card, this death card. Right. It's like, this death card is like spirit saying, just, it's time, okay? Yeah. It's time to let this go. It's dead. It's been dead. It's not what you thought it was in the past. You can go revisit it a million times, but it is what it is. It's dead. It's dead. Rethink it's time it. to move on. Yeah, it's time to move on All because right. you are this queen of wands. Right. And that's what she does. And you does. have to assume that energy and um, meet your challenge. Mm -hmm. Your challenge is to let go of past, a, a past seemingly mm -hmm. comfortable situation and become uncomfortable. Because it could be a past relationship, it could be extended family, it could be an old friend, whatever it is, like this is, it has run its course. And the death reversed is also sometimes that um, death comes rather quickly. Especially sort of in about, this position. Yeah, it's because the death is always sudden. Mm -hmm. So, in an, and now it's in the unexpected and it's reversed. Yeah. So there's sort of a a change that might come that comes in so quickly that um, you're, again, not ready. Mm -hmm. Be because this is a card of not being ready. Yeah, and this you is see? the card of spirit saying, let it go. Let it go. Let it die. Let it die. It's and like then, a relationship. And then this card would mm -hmm. not be the result. This is so. like the card of trying to keep something alive artificially. Yes. You know, when somebody doesn't want to be, like, their living will says, please don't. On a respirator. Keep me on a respirator. Right. Like, you're keeping something on a respirator. Yes, something's uh, disconnect. Unexpectedly. You realize that. Yes. You realize that. And, and so, um, consequently, it's a, you see, reversals are not negative. Everyone who watches these, oh, you're always so negative. No, that's actually, no, death no, reverse no. is just Everything advice. we do has a challenge mm -hmm. to it, or else uh, we would never grow. Well, we look to these cards for answers to our to questions. Yes. So if we see something and we say, oh, my spirit says you need to let this go, sometimes it's not always fun while the letting go is no. happening. Because and, you know, life isn't all about, well, Oh, you know, I, I uh, wake up and I've inherited a million dollars. Right. And I go out to buy some cigarettes 
not me, but someone else, and meet the love of my life. Right. You know, I mean, life has, the, it's a school. Right. We live in a school. So death. And to be real, yeah. you have to actually ex, um, anticipate those problems that naturally will come up whenever you have an intention mm -hmm. to do something. Well, the promise is once you do allow this fish to fly on the beach and flop around and die, which is hard to do, by the way, if you've ever done that, it's hard. Um, when it does, out you emerge. Right. <laughs> As a brand new, beautiful, Baby. new iteration of right. who you are. Uh, so, butterfly. Yeah, and that's why we read the cards because, you know, if we do see a card... You're a butterfly in waiting. Yeah, we... That's what you are. We can tell you what spirit advises. So, and one of its little wings is caught in the chrysalis. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. It's just Your poor little wing unexpected. is caught in the chrysalis. And, yeah. And you're trying to get out, but uh, you're almost there. But uh, in December, you're going to have to probably wait to get that other wing out of the chrysalis. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I was just, you know, to get back to that death thing again, I've had experiences with that where you have to let a friendship die. Oh, yes. That's true. Or a relationship die, or a job die. Like, you, right. you know, like, this is who I am. Like, people will say to you, oh, what do you do? <laughs> and it's, you're like... It, as if it were not spiritual. Right. To um, allow uh, a friendship or even a love to um, die, to, to die, or to have a course, mm -hmm. you know, of beginning, middle, and end. Well, things die when you're not nurturing them. Yes. And our first, you know, thought is to nurture, right? As women, yes. that's what we do, we nurture. So not to nurture something that should die can often be, you know, kind of a hard thing. It's funny, I was just listening to uh, Dr. Sabi the uh, herbalist, mm -hmm. and he was uh, discussing, he's an 83-year-old man who's a herbal genius, whose um, wife is, I think, 25, and is pregnant with his baby. Okay. Um, but his... Yuck. Yes. <laughs> well, to show that one's body need not decay. Oh, okay. You see? I'm not speaking about morally. Okay. Um, Although it's not immoral. Um, but his attitude when asked about what, what um, he thought about at his age was the key to happiness. He said, well, it isn't loving another person. He said, I've had a lot of relationships. And he said that the only thing that really matters is how you love yourself, how you care and respect yourself. Hmm, he should know how old is he again? 83. 83, and he's married to a 26 year old, yes. So <laughs> he says, I wouldn't mind one, you know, w women love you and then they don't love you. Mm -hmm. Men and love you true. and then they don't love you. Exactly. And, that, and so you, know, that is you, cannot, you cannot, there are people who will mm -hmm. commit suicide when someone's love for them ends. It, it dissipates. And so or dies. it's the idea that you let that go. Mm -hmm. And you resurrect yourself as someone who loves themselves. Exactly. And not that which loved you. And you don't become dependent on that. Right. Well, also don't let, you know, it, one more interpretation of this reading, which we could have lots a lot and of lot them. of them. But one more interpretation is that sometimes our challenge is to, like, if we don't have these, because I'm looking at this in, in reverse, if we don't, See our childhood, like during the holidays, is like a comforting, welcoming place. So there's someone from our past who shows up and we're like not really happy to see them the way we feel we should. So there's a lot of guilt. You don't like your relative. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, that's how it goes. People go home for the holidays. You're thinking, oh my God, and they have to am see I really related to that? They bump into friends from high school, like at Publix or whatever. And they're like, they don't have happy memories of that, right? right. Yeah. So like, you know, and you haven't let stuff go, I'm just going to say, yeah. obviously. Right. At the end, you know, don't let that affect your desire to travel and see these people because it looks like it might. 
And yeah, like, maybe you say you cash in that ticket. You say I'm not going back. I don't to want to go back to that. And on top of that, we have this Queen of Wands who's like, instead, I think I'll focus on my career. Right. <laughs> That because would be that's a happy interpretation of it. Of I think. Pisces, yeah, yes. yeah. So yeah, I could see that happening. Yeah, here. I can see it happening. Yeah. So Pisces, but take from all of this that which resonates with you personally. Yes. Because again, each card is a uh, a well of mystery, which and is ideas. why we do personal readings. That's right. So if you'd like one, oh, first let me say you got to get the fifth card. Oh, there she is. Fifth card, I'm going to go to the council card first because these are um, 4 dollars uh, a month. And you get all 12, plus you get the archived cards from a year back. Um, and they're different. Uh, the fifth card will give you major arcana council on this four-card spread. They are meditated upon and voiced and delivered by Reverend Ava over here. Yes. So it is a new interpretation of this reading um, from a higher spiritual Perspective. Yes, with more time. Yes, and meditative uh, and insight. And fewer jokes. Hopefully. A fewer jokes. No jokes. We at love all. to joke. Forgive yeah. us. She doesn't joke by herself. Like she's no, not joking with herself. It's like super serious. <laughs> so you'll want to see that. That's true. And then we're gonna do also personal and private readings for you this month when you click on the purchase a reading tab. Yes. Yes. And um, it's really easy. You can use PayPal, which makes it super swift. And secure. Yes. And for that, you get a beautiful, wonderful audio file, and they are pretty uh, astounding, these readings. Pretty they, astounding. They, uh, they're they really quite, uh, they, they resonate, uh, you know, on a higher level with mm -hmm. me. Anyway. And, the, yeah, and what spirit has to say is so much more than the initial question. Yes. You yes. know, it's like, so, oh, I got we'll you on that. Well, I think Let me Scor tell you about Scorpio this. is going to be free this month, right? That's what we said. Not we're doing Pisces. Scorpio. Oh, council we gave, card. We gave Pisces last month. Yeah, we're going to give Scorpio a free council card. Check that out. It's maybe your rising about, sign is Scorpio. Yeah, we talked about private readings, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, what else would you like to talk about? I love your skirt. Oh, thank you. It's so cute. <laughs> so She's wearing like really cute little slippers. <laughs> Here. Merry Christmas, everyone. Watch our winter solstice video. The solstice sisters. Yes, because we did that last year. Yes. And um, stay tuned because we're going to be doing world predictions. Uh-oh. We don't know what they Watch are Watch world. We have no idea. We have not rehearsed because no. Eddie, our cameraman, has come up with the questions. Oh, really? Yes, which we will meditate oh, upon. Bless your heart. As That's more nice ethylene rises from the center I'm of the so universe. <laughs> okay. So here we go. Bye.